Hi, my name is Rudy Cromwell, and I am the creator and founder of Re-Emerging Spirits Life Warriors. I empower female entrepreneurs to courageously re-emerge and rise in both their life and their business. I'm a network and affiliate marketer and a social media strategist, along with the many other hats I happen to wear. And today I want to talk to you about habits and more specifically about the positive habits you want to have in your life as a life warrior to really make the most of it. Because habits and routines are the backbone of our life. They literally make or break us. And bad habits actually tend to conceal unmet needs. So when you can pinpoint those unmet needs, then you can work towards creating positive keystone habits that will then make your life next level, which is always good. When you find the right keystone habits, they can turn your life around really super quickly, more quickly than anything else you do. So let's dive into what the four levels of habits are you need to be a life warrior. Number one are healthy living habits. Um, that should come as a no brainer, right? Um, this is the total foundation to everything else you do. And it's just taking care of your body. It's taking care of you. Um, and to do this, you're going to do good things for yourself and make them a habit. Uh, first, exercise. And so many people are like, but my life is busy. I can't squeeze in a ton of exercise. Even little bursts of five to 10 minutes of activity um, even in the middle of the day in your office, just get up for five minutes and do some jumping jacks. It will do you a world of good just to get that heart rate going a little faster and get that blood pumping is awesome. Also, there is healthy breakfast. I know I probably sound like a broken record. You've heard that a million times. But if you want to be the life warrior that you know you can be, and you want to rock your business and be there for your friends and family and do all the other things that are required of us, you need to fuel your body. And that starts right first thing in the morning after you've been sleeping and not eating for all night. So you want to do that. And that leads me into the next part is getting an adequate amount of sleep. You want to make that a habit. And on top of that, you want to make getting up at the same time every day part of your habit. Um, because your body gets out of sync when you don't stay getting up at the exact same time every day. And number four may be a little surprising to you, or maybe you've heard of it before. It's cold exposure. It actually is really good for you. There's all sorts of studies. I'm not going to explain it. You go research it and figure it out for yourself. But that dunk in the cold, icy water or a nice cold, cold shower or that jumping out of the hot tub and rolling around in the snow is actually really good for you. So check that one out. Uh, level number two of the habits you want to have as a life warrior are your mindset habits. Um, our inner game is probably the most important part of our life, but it is the one most neglected by the average person. And life warriors are not average, are we? So we want to make sure that we have good mindset habits. And uh, to do this, we are going to focus on meditation. Again, just five, 10 minutes first thing in the morning, just to take the time to be self-aware and accept yourself in the moment exactly as you are the way you were created because you are beautifully you. Part, second part of that's going to be journaling. Again, you want to be writing down a lot of those thoughts in your head that we have swirling around in there. Get them out of your head, put them on paper, write them down. Capturing your ideas and then also expressing gratitude is a perfect way to journal. Another good thing between those two, when you're sharing those ideas and expressing gratitude, you're going to come across those limiting beliefs you have. And this is where our growth mindset comes in. When you can pinpoint those limiting beliefs, now we're able to bypass them and work to better positive beliefs, which 
then leads me to correcting your thinking errors. This is part of your habits. And after you've pinpointed them through your journaling, this is where affirmations are going to come in. Um, this is when you're going to really put the work in to change those limiting beliefs that we have, and we all have them. Um, you're going to be able to say those positive things to yourself daily and make them a habit. Here's a biggie. Make sure you're controlling how much time you spend reading or watching and taking in the news or on social media. For evolutionary reasons, humans are more pre-positioned to gravitate towards negative stimuli than we are positive stimuli. So you, as a life warrior, need to be on top of controlling how much of that negative stimuli you let into your life. So watch how much time you're spending on it. This leads me to the third level of habits that a life warrior wants to have. And these are connection habits. We currently live in a connection age, whether we like to believe it or not. It's one of the core aspects of meaningful and fulfilling work. Uh, connection is literally just the exchange of uh, emotional energy between yourself and other individuals. And here's four examples of how you really can nail your connection habits as a life warrior. First one, solo downtime. Now I know you're thinking, she just said connection and now she's telling me to go hang out by myself. I know, I know, it sounds very counterintuitive, but it's so much harder to connect with others when you haven't spent the time connecting with yourself first. Connecting with others and connecting with yourself are one in the same, and even hardcore extroverts need to strike a balance in that area. Part two of that is connecting with loved ones. So these are your family and close friends. Uh, you want to make sure that you're making it a habit to check in with those people regularly. It helps strengthen bonds and it gives you that tribe of fellow life warriors that you know that you can cope through things with when times get hard. Uh, that leads me into serving. This is definitely a habit all life warriors have in their arsenal. And it could be little serving or big serving. You could be on a big committee or uh, nonprofit, or you literally could just help your neighbor uh, in their door with the groceries when you see them pull in the driveway. It could literally be as simple as making your spouse or your roommate breakfast. And here's the important thing with serving. The true meaning of giving is to do it without expecting anything in return. And then that leads me into allow space for silence. Get comfortable with it. You know how there's some people you're just not comfortable really telling them your stuff um, because they always interrupt you or they have to immediately solve your problem and give their opinion? I know, right? It's awkward. This is where... If you really grasp this habit of just being a listener and being there and able to listen to people and sit in the silence with them, that is going to take you far in life. And it's such a rare habit to have. So if you can really nail that one down, you will be a true life warrior. And that brings me to level four of the habits that a life warrior wants to have. And these are our high level habits. So these are the habits of learning, reflection, uh, productivity, organization, and it's the need to, to balance between overthinking and underthinking. And how we do that is by, first of all, tracking. You can't manage what you can't measure. So you need to know and see where all the areas of your life are and where you can better them or where you maybe need to back off a bit. And that's through tracking. And there's so many different ways to track. I mean, I wear a Fitbit that tracks my sleep and my steps and all that sort of stuff. Uh, when I drink water, I always drink water out of a water bottle that has like marks and levels and little sayings on it. So I can track how much water I'm drinking throughout the day. 
uh, to track my meetings and my family time or time with friends, I use a daily planner and a calendar to track that stuff. Uh, and you wanna be doing that on a regular basis. And that leads me into daily planning. You wanna have a plan. Sit down on Sunday and have a rough outline of what's gonna happen every day throughout your week. Uh, you don't wanna have it so micromanaged you want to leave enough space in your weekly and daily plans for wiggle room. Uh, monthly budget, I can't stress this enough. It is a powerful, powerful keystone habit. Budgeting has the potential to transform many areas of your life for the better. And when you know where your money is, where it's coming from, where it's going, and how much you're saving, it just puts you right at the top there. And last but not least, it's daily study. Learning is literally the portal to another version of yourself. Uh, each time you take the time to learn something new, you literally emerge as a different, more complex you. And who doesn't want that? That is the true definition of a life warrior. And how can we do this? Read a lot. Make sure you're reading a couple self-help or learning books. Uh, twice, two books a month is usually my limit I try to go for. Uh, I participate in webinars when I can to learn new information. I take classes and courses when I can. Um, listen to podcasts all the time. It's quick and easy to do with earbuds. Even when you're grocery shopping, you could be listening to a podcast. So those are the four levels of habits that you want to really have nailed down to truly be a life warrior. The four levels are strongly intertwined and they reinforce each other. So you wanna have a good mix of all four of the levels. And on those four levels, again, are healthy living habits, connection habits, mindset habits, and high level habits. Work to build habits in all four of those areas and you will create a life that any life warrior would be honored to have. So there you have it, folks. I hope you found some value in that. I really uh, enjoyed putting this together for you. If you want to stay in touch and still uh, take in more of the information on this habits and other life warrior stuff that we talk about, click subscribe below or join me in my Facebook community, Re-Emerging Spirits Life Warriors. And I always say, life warriors, re-emerge and rise because warriors do it better. Until next time, my name is Rudy Cromwell and we'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.